channel I mean I'm natural I'm Jasmine and you're watching my YouTube channel so welcome back to my channel you guys I know it's been a hot minute since I have dropped a video life has just been life and I've been living in it but I am back and not only am I back I am back with new friends I'm gonna let you guys meet my new friends So a little disclaimer, I know normally my channel has, well in the past it's been geared towards like all my natural hair and other natural talks and my name is I mean I'm natural and you're like what in the world does your pet hair makeup apps have to do with natural? Let's listen, they're, they're nature and that's about as natural as it gets, right? I mean, I'm natural, they're from nature. And what other way to naturally promote self-care than take care of something in nature? And here I am, nurturing my tank of nature over there. So, it still fits. So, in case you've been wondering what I've been up to, nothing much, life has just been life in and I have been living it. Um, but I'm back now and I am back with my two new friends, Sebastian and Larry, my two pet hermit crabs. Um, and on this episode, I'm going to be talking about the truth about having pet hermit crabs. Um, yeah, so hermit crabs seem like they are very simple creatures, um, they, that they seem like they have little requirement, easy care, simple maintenance. That's what I initially thought, and that's what the people at the pet store, not going to say the pet store's name, led me to believe that this was going to be something simple and very easy. However, it is not. Um, after purchasing my two little babies, I came back home and I dove into some research. Um, I should have did that prior to getting my hermit crabs, but I kind of lived life on the edge you know if I wanted at that time that's what I'm gonna get and that's what I did however it probably would have been better for me to have done some research about hermit crabs um everybody's seen them when you go to the beach you see them in, in sometimes gift shops and little pet stores all the time they always have cool painted shells and whatnot and all of those things are completely wrong and completely terrible for them and you would never know because they just sell them like that. I they send you home with a little one of those little tiny little crates, and most people try to keep them in that, and that's not even enough space for one hermit crab. The recommended space for one hermit crab is five gallons. A five gallon, you need at least five gallon tank for one hermit crab. That little bitty box that they send you home with might fit half a gallon of water. Um, but. Yeah, this is a learning experience and I'm here to share with you guys some new things that I learned because I am going to revamp my tank. So that will be the next episode that I make. It will be the revamping of Sebastian and Larry's Paradise because my little baby's about to be lit. I had no idea how a proper crab attack should be for hermit crabs. I had no idea before buying them. So, um, yeah. But let me tell you the background story of me getting my hermit crabs at the pet store. So when I went into the pet store, um, uh, me and my mommy, we picked out two hermit crabs. Uh, and then we asked them, what do we need to build them a good home? Um, the lady pointed me in the direction of this box. This box is said to be fit for a 10 gallon tank. This box came with five pounds of sand. Um, it came with a thermometer. It came with soil, food. It came with one shell, hermit crab sponge, 
a small water dish and then the water conditioners that you will need for your pets so off the gate that sounds like such a great thing <laughs> but the pet store obviously has jokes and don't know what they're talking about because when you do research almost everything in this box is toxic to thermocrat um so i think this box ran me about like what 30 dollars, and i was like oh yeah that's that's a bargain the the crabs are like six dollars and this is like 30 something cool 40 dollars and we already have the tank at home bam wrongo wrongo come home do research to find out that everything that lady told me was very much incorrect and i should have known something was wrong when she couldn't tell me how to tell the difference between having a male and a female hermit crab um but yeah so she said these are all the things that i would need and almost nothing in this box is good enough for my crab children none of it um so today i went to the store um after doing some research i got some of the proper things and it's going to be coming in over the next couple of days for me to fix the crab attack um so yeah if you if you're interested in getting hermit crabs do not purchase anything from the pet store other than your hermit crabs um that's it everything else amazon lowe's walmart Dave Michaels is your best friend at this point and your your hermit crabs will probably be a thousand times happier for it. I can't wait to redo their habitat because I feel like such a terrible pet owner and people are probably like girl they're just crabs these things can live for 30 years so when I tell you I'm invested I'm invested in these things and if something god forbid something happens to them yeah, I'm gonna get another one and try it again. But, you know, I don't want anything to happen to them because those are the ones we picked out and they seem very, very special. We had a a connection and I hope we stay connected and it doesn't get severed anytime soon. Um, but yeah, I'm going to redo this habitat and get it up to standards because everything, like I said, everything in this box is wrong. Um, a lot of people don't know is that these creatures are, are they're, they're, they're not low maintenance. Nothing about this is low maintenance. Um, I thought I was getting an easy pet. I could've got a cat for all this and just had to pay for cat food and, and, and kitty litter. Probably would've been a little bit easier. Maybe some shots and stuff. Anyway, it's a lot more complicated than what, I should've just got an ant farm, right. It's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot more complicated than what I thought. Um. So these creatures need a controlled environment. They usually stay in the tropics. So you have to have a humid environment. So you have to find a way. So you have to find a way to get enough humidity, to keep enough humidity, to keep your tank anywhere between, well, I think the ones that have to have, have to have at least 80 degrees at all, 80 to 85 degrees or 90 degrees or something like that at all times um yeah so you have to have a controlled environment the food that they gave you in that box then are you supposed to eat that um i researched it they have to have like fresh fruits and vegetables and i think some other fo foliage that you can find at your grocery store so basically what i eat they're gonna eat um yeah because that pet food has stuff in it that kills them so Everything, like I said, everything in that box is dangerous. That little bit of sand, five pounds of sand in my 10 gallon tank is nowhere near enough. Um, I put, I actually bought an extra bag of sand. So right now it is 10 pounds of sand in that um, box as well as some coconut foliage, um, mulch kind of soil that they give you that kind of expands on its own. So that's what's in there right now. And it's nowhere near enough because what they don't tell you is that you need at least three to six inches, three to six inches of sand 
for them to be able to bury themselves under when it's time for them to molt and like shed their um their exo skill whatever you want to call it to shed that stuff off when they're getting big on us they they need that at least three to six inches of sand to to bury themselves under so that five pound of sand that comes in this box you need to times it by like 10. so i bought a 50 pound bag of sand which was only four dollars at lowe's um so the next episode again i am going to redesign their whole entire tank and get my babies together because this ain't it the pet store they, they they don't have they ain't have it for me and it's not it and we're gonna do better for my children um what else did they say so they need enough sand for them to be able to bear themselves in water so these are creatures that live by the ocean and they also need fresh so they live off of fresh water and salt water so you have to have both in that tank and not only they they did tell you at the pet store you need both salt water and you need fresh water but they tell you to get a little shallow dish because you don't want your crab to drown y'all crabs have gills crabs can swim um every crab i've ever known swim but when they told me i was just like oh, okay i don't want my baby to drown so shallow bowl it is however once you do your research which i should have done before i know but once you do your research they have to be able to be able to they have to be able to fully submerge their bodies in the water they love water in both the fresh and salt water they have to be able to fully submerge their body into both so you will be able, you would have to be able to have salt water and a little bit of and a lot of bit of fresh water in the in, in your tank space for them to be able to get into because they like to be in that water and they have gills so they need to be in that water um so yeah the shallow bowl heck no lady didn't know what in the world she was talking about apps how do you work at the pet store you don't know what your pets need like uh whatever but um yes yeah, so i just ordered some little bowls for them to go swimming in um online and that should be here soon so again i am going to revamp this whole tank and get my baby's life together because i had no literally no idea what it took to have a hermit crab not let alone one two i had no idea what it what, i thought it was going to be easy and it's it's nowhere near that easy it's nowhere near that simple but we're gonna make it happen captain um but yeah so the whole thing with the water at, at the pet store they swim and they need they need water a lot of it too um what else does she tell me oh all you oh yeah and also all you need to go into the bowls is something for them to get in and out of the water on because they're expert climbers which they don't tell you in the pet store my babies need a, a, a rock climbing wall they need they exercise a lot they need ropes and ladders and freaking shoots and ladders like they need a lot in that tank and i had i had no idea i had no freaking idea of what what it would take what it would take to, to do this like i love them already so i'm not gonna get rid of them but i had no idea it was gonna be like this but we're here now and i'm getting it together and for any of you guys out there who are interested in having a hermit pet hermit crab, which I don't recommend having just one because nobody wants to be lonely. If you do, if you do want hermit crabs in your future, ignore the people from the pet store. If they offer you this, tell them no, sis. Don't get it. It's a waste of money. So you can put that towards all the other stuff you will need for your. For your crab attack and honestly i bought literally 50 pounds of rocks sands and the coconut stuff and it was 13 dollars way less than this box way less than this box literally i have 150 pounds of stuff on my floor for this tank i'm not even going to use all of it and it cost me 13 dollars at lowe's versus this 40 dollar box 
little box that was nothing but poisonous and hazardous to my poor little babies. And then I mentioned about the sponge. She told me to put, a, she told me to put sponges in their water. They live in a humid environment. Do you know how much bacteria would be on that sponge in a matter of days? I'm pretty sure there's sponges in there now because I, did, I didn't give them big enough bowls yet, but they're on the way. Um, but as soon as tomorrow comes, we're tossing all that stuff out. Everything in that tank is going. Everything. And I feel so bad because, I, like I said, I should have researched before, but I was living on a whim the way I lived my whole life. I'm an Aquarius, guys. Living on the whim. That's my thing. But, um... Mm -mm. The pet store, it, it just ain't it. It's all, the only reason you should go there is to get your hermit crabs. Uh, they might actually have some cute toys and stuff to put inside your tank that the your hermit crabs will love later on down the line. But as far as actual hermit crab material, if it says hermit crab on it, don't get it. Um, except this, this, this climbing wall that I got recently um a world thrive of wonder but it's it's usually for reptiles they do have a hermit crab on it it says reptiles so again if it says hermit crabs nah probably don't get it so recap if you go to the pet store just go in there and get your hermit crabs um honestly it's best to prepare before you get them get everything you need go ahead and set it up because i wish i would have done that before and did the research because i wouldn't even be in this situation and i would wouldn't have wasted $40. Um, granted, charge to the game is a learning experience. And now you know. So I learned for you to learn so we can learn together. Um, and you don't have to be out $40 like I was. Um, but yeah, so that's it. But please stay tuned. Catch me on my next, my next video drop when I revamp my tank. Because... My baby's about to have a, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tropical paradise in there and they're going to love it until I get real big baller and I move out of an apartment into a home and then I can get even bigger tank and it will be living inside. That tank will be their bath tank. You feel me? Like that'll be their pool, but we're not there yet. And we're going to make it happen with what Sebastian and Larry got going on right now. We're going to make it happen. And I'm praying that they can make it through the next two, three days as their stuff comes in for me to build them a new house. If they made it, honestly, if they made it at the pet store that long, I feel like they could definitely push through two more days. Um, I'm just gonna keep monitoring them and shower them with love to give them motivation to, to make it to, to Nirvana because that's what they're about to have in that in that aquarium mark my words so please stay tuned check me out on my next video thank you guys so much for watching i wish you nothing but peace love positivity and prosperity and thank you guys so much for watching my youtube channel and i can't wait to see you guys next time don't forget to like comment subscribe and share um yeah you guys know how that stuff goes um yeah, thank you. thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video.